A panicked Batman then dashed upstairs to the manor to check on Alfred and the rest of his family, only to find poor Alfred armed with a knife, holding off an infected Nightwing and Robin. The bloodthirsty heroes then leapt into action as Batman desperately fought them off, telling them he did not want to hurt them. However, there was no speaking sense into these creatures, for their humanity was already long gone. The duo bit and tore through Bruce's flesh as he pleaded with Alfred to run. Man, every time I see this panel, it just gives me the willies. Whew. As the infection spread, it left only a few heroes left, such as Superman, his son Jonathan, Batman's son Damien, Green Arrow, and Black Canary, who is now a Green Lantern after being forced to kill Hal Jordan. The group gathered atop the Daily Planet, where they discussed just what they were going to do. Just then, Damien gets a call from Bruce from one of his transceivers. We then see Batman, now armed in one of Mr. Freeze's suits, with Alfred standing close by with an armed shotgun. He reveals to the heroes that he did not have much time left. Bruce was using the suit's cold to slow down his metabolism to prevent the spread of the virus, but his fate was sealed and he would soon turn. He tells Superman that the only way to stop this would be to kill anyone who was infected and to shut down the entire internet before the entire Earth was left in ruin. He then sits down and reveals to his son Damien that Alfred had a gift for him and wished he could have lived to see the day for Damien to open it. Just before he could finish his sentence and tell his son he loved him, the virus took over Bruce's body, fully transforming him into an infected. He then lunges at Alfred, who tearfully apologizes to the man he raised like a son. Alfred then opens fire, killing Bruce. He then lays the fallen Batman next to the dead bodies of Robin and Nightwing, apologizing that he was not able to save them. He then holds his head in shame, and sadly walks to the Batplane with Damien's suitcase in hand.